So Meta announces an encoding ASIC, and this was the blog post by um, David Ronka. I want to say it was late last year, and wanted to give you a little bit of perspective on ASICs. You know, ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. It's a chip designed for compression, and I think you you look at ASIC usage in three phases. So back when we first had digital video, when you know digital video was primarily what you sent via satellite, what you sent via cable and MPEG-2 format, almost all the encoders were ASIC based. And that was because the CPUs at the time weren't capable of producing even MPEG-2. And then there was this huge kind of between you know, 2000, and I'm saying 2012 probably started before then to 2018, where video started moving to the cloud, CPUs were powerful enough to support uh, uh, real-time encoding or transcoding of H.264, and you know ASIC usage decreased significantly. You know it was it was interesting when I was working as a as a I guess a reporter or a freelance uh, contributor to Streaming Media Magazine. Elemental came out, and in 2012 2013, they really hyped the fact that they had you know compression centric hardware appliances that produced encoding. And then later on, they transitioned that to what they called software-defined video processing. And that's how they got, by, got, got bought by AWS. AWS does most of the encoding with, um, with elemental products now with you know, their own uh, GPUs, but they're, they're not ASICs, they're GPUs. I'm sorry, CPUs. Now the latest phase is, is we're seeing a lot of high volume use. We're seeing, you know, uh, we're seeing gambling, we're seeing metaverse, we're seeing cloud gaming, and we're seeing you know, massive deployments of video on demand from UGC sites. And we're also seeing codecs getting more complex. We're moving from H.264 to ATVC to AV1 and soon to VBC and perhaps LCEVC and EVC. And all this is a very inefficient structure for GPUs and CPUs. At the same time, power consumption and density is, are becoming critical factors. You know, everybody's talking about cost of power. Everybody's talking about data center power. And using CPUs and GPUs, for that matter, is just very, very inefficient. And this is where ASICs emerge as the best solution on a cost per stream, watts per stream, and density basis. Density meaning how many streams can you output from a single server. And we saw this, you know, Google replaced millions of Intel CPUs with its own homegrown chips. Those homegrown chips were encoding ASICs. And then we saw Meta, this was in 2021, and this is in, uh, uh, it was late 2022. So significance, I think it legitimizes encoding ASICs as the preferred technology for high volume transcoding. Interesting that David Ronka said this, David Ronka, was the uh, director of video encoding at Netflix and then moved to Meta, uh, I want to say two or three years ago. And he said, there are two types of companies in the video business, those using video processing ASICs in their workflows and those that will be. So I think, you know, this gives ASICs a lot more credit. Usage by Google and Facebook, Meta, gives ASICs a lot more credibility than what you get from me saying it as a net, you know, obviously net, NetEnt makes encoding ASICs and you know, these, these legitimize our technology, and which, which are different, right? They're, Meta made their own chips. Uh, Google made their own chips. We have our own chips. But the whole technology is being legitimized by the uses that we saw just a few minutes ago.